Let's just sew whatever. To install this, I have some Guterman Creative Glue. Um, my friend Lejeune gave this to me years ago. I'm going to grab one of my machine magnets. I like this, uh, this one. I can do this. And I'm going to put on my... <laughs> oh, I almost dropped that everywhere. Hilarious. I'm going to add all my screws to it. So I don't lose anything. I'm going to pull this back off as much as it hurts me. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. Be careful you don't start pushing on your glue. Because chances are it's already coming out. Um, maybe I'll just put a little on the top edge here. You do not want a lot. You do not want big glumps of glue. No glumps. Glue lumps. I think that's the second time I've said glumps. Um, and I don't think that's a word. Okay, so just a little bit of glue, get that cap on. Whew, that smells real good. And then you want your screws to be on the inside of the wallet. Oh, just get the glue all over your hands. Right. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm gonna kind of go in at an angle. If you need to, you could compress the edges first if your materials are a little too thick. But it is a perfect fit. Just kind of squishing, squishing in there. Perfect fit along the edges there as well. And then if you need to, you can use an awl to kind of get your holes started. I know I used to have one. But I don't know where it is now. Oh, I can use my stiletto. All right. This will help just to kind of get that started. And then some people use a little bit of Loctite at the end. Oh, I thought it fell off my screwdriver. It's like, no, no. Dang it. And Dorothy took my, uh, there we go. I caught it. No worries. This is why I don't use a ton of hardware like with screws and stuff. I'm just not coordinated enough for it. Yeah, buddy. I personally recommend using an electric screwdriver. I just think it goes faster. And then I kept the tip of my screwdriver um, attached to a magnet. Wow, could have been doing that this whole time. And um, that really helped magnetize this piece a little bit so that the screws don't just fall right off. Okay, so that is on there very securely. With my turn lock piece. So now comes the fun part of cutting a ton of holes in this. So I'm lining it up And one of the main reasons I designed this wallet frame to have this really long piece under here is so that there's more fabric underneath the bar clasp. Because usually there's like a little tiny bit, eighth of an inch. And I'm like, no. 
But you can see here, like it's pretty close to the zipper. But oh my gosh, I'm going to be addicted to making these now. If I weren't filming, this would have taken like probably an hour at most. All right, so we're gonna trace out the circle. Chances are we're gonna have to cut from the very top, but it shouldn't be too bad. And then you just wanna use a very sharp pair of scissors or if you have a die set like this, this is hole punch die set, you could match up one of these. Ooh. I mean, that'll work. Back to that'll do. Wait, is it too wide? Because you don't want it to be too, too wide, but you also want it to be a little bit wider than the hole so that it doesn't look terrible. Let's see, what do we think about one of these? Ooh, that's, that's pretty dang good. And this one I think is a little bit too, yeah, it's too small because you don't want to see anything popping out of there. So there's the sharp edge side and I had a press over here. But maybe I'll just, you can also, um, use like a hammer or something to punch it out. And you want to go beyond your silver marked line. The thought that I'd have a hammer down here is kind of ridiculous to me, so I'm going to go get the whole punch press. All right, so I have a punch with a press plate and it's just going to help me apply the pressure to this. And then I've also got a cutting mat underneath. So I'm going to line up my punch onto my fabric and slide it under. I guess I'll take the riser off. No, I think I can get it underneath there. Yeah, there we go. So having the press, you could even use like an arbor press or something, just helps apply the pressure nice and evenly. So I'm just going to crunch this under that. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and then we do want to apply fray check glue something to that area. And then we're going to lay the wallet frame back on with the screws to the inside to make sure that looks good. And I would say it looks pretty darn good. There's a little bit showing, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. Why am I so excited? Because I've every time I've made one, it failed, and this one is perfect. Ugh, it's so good. All right, so now we're gonna glue this on. Oh, oh, it was just my phone. I don't think I can get the tip of this into the wallet frame. No, I can't. So I'm just going to squeeze this onto the top. Again, no globs. Make sure I don't get glue everywhere. Um, do I have any fray check? I do. I have this fray check from about 75 years ago. Oh, does it work? I don't know. Hello. 
Hello, are you home? Do you work? I can't even tell if it's a liquid anymore. No, it does not. Great. I have some of this fabric fusion, so we'll just do that. I'm gonna get high on huffing glue, that's what I'm gonna do. All right. And then remember you applied this and it's right at this part, so don't put it in there, let it dry. Um, I am gonna take a little scrap of vinyl to kind of rub that away. You could even use edge coat. Oh my God, how fun would that be? Along this little area. So I didn't really wipe away any of the glue, I just kind of pressed it in. And then again, screws on the inside. Smoosh it down. Make sure you keep any glue off your fingers as you're touching the wallet. and press all the way down as far as you can. Get it in place. And then I'm gonna punch the holes to start where my screws are gonna go. And what's nice is we've got that layer of Decaville Heavy up there that our screws are kind of biting into. You could even make a bunch of these and then like sit and watch TV applying all the frames. When your family's like, you never spend time with us because you're always sewing. I'd be like, fine. Now I will. Okay. This one didn't go quite far enough, so I'm gonna apply some extra pressure. Here we go. And I have that glue drying on the edge of my fabric in there, so I'm not going to close this. But I'm so tempted. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe it won't touch it. Just gotta, I gotta do it for the gram. Oh, shoot. There we go. Had a little piece come loose. Here we go.